Hey, how y'all doing folks? It's Paw Paw again. And I wanted to share with you my experience of dealing with Cobra Enterprises of Utah. Uh, if you watched my uh, my bucket of guns where I was you know, doing a little target practice, whatever, out at my farm, you'll know that I had trouble with this little fella right here. A little Cobra 380 Auto and I could not chamber around. I pull on it and then it's like, no, 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 it ain't supposed to be like that. You know, I mean, a, a woman should be able to ch chamber around, no problem. Here I am, big old boy, and I couldn't do it. Well, I uh, got back home and, and uh, then a few days later, when it got to be during the week, I called Cobra. And I told him what my problem was. And he said, ain't no problem. He said, you send it to us, we'll take care of it. Because that, that gun has got a lifetime warranty. As long as you own that gun, we're going to fix it. Really? He said, yeah, just ship it to us. Well, Tennessee's a little bit funny on individual shipping handguns. So I was, I was able to ship it through FedEx legally. And, uh, and then uh, they were able to ship it back to me uh, via UPS. But I uh, guess every state's different what you can and can't do. Anyway, I, I had read all kinds of reviews about Cobra. People said, oh no man, I called up there and all they do is give me lip service and they say, you know, it'd be ready whenever, yada, yada, yada. And, and, uh, and people say, oh, I've been waiting since last year. and. And I'm like, that doesn't sound anything like what I've experienced. The guy that was in the uh, customer service when I was talking to him about what the problem was, you know, he tried to help me, you know, over the phone, you know, asking asking pertinent questions. And uh, finally, he realized, yep, okay, send it in to me. We're going to take care of it. And I sent it in. I wrote this letter and shipped it on April the 5th. You figure it took a few days to get there. April the 5th this year. And here it is, what's the date? The 21st of May. So in approximately six weeks, it got shipped. They repaired it and shipped it back to me. So April 5th through May 21st. And that included the time on the road. I can't, I am not complaining about them. Uh, uh, every time I've called, they've been as nice to me as they could possibly be. Of course, I'm polite to people as well, unless you piss me off. But <laughs> anyway, I couldn't chamber around. Well, now I've got, of course, now this little feller, it only holds five bullets. But I can slap it in there and boom. Yep, it's in there, all right. <laughs> anyway, I just want to tell you about my experience with Cobra Enterprises uh, of, of Utah, Salt Lake City, Utah. I am very pleased. And I've heard, you know, whenever I showed that other video, test shooting, test firing, all that, of course, a lot of people was, was uh, down on me about, the, about my gun. And, uh, well, what do you expect? What do you, you know, you bought you a cheap gun. What do you expect? I expect it to work. I don't give a damn what I paid for it. I expect it to work. And, uh, if it don't work, let's make it work. I mean, if they're, if they're continuing to manufacture the item, it must be working somewhere. And, you know, anything mechanical can break. Oh, and the problem was, it was the sear spring. And those of you who know what a sear spring is will know what they had to do. It wasn't the spring where I pulled it back, can't do this. It was actually a, a, a little spring that goes vertical in here. It had to do with the mechanics of it. Anyway, that's what's wrong with it. So we placed the sear spring, test fired it without, pro without problem. So I'm not going to test fire it here. This is inside the city limits. <laughs> they sort of frown on that. Anyway, folks, 
just wanted to give you a follow up. I promised you I would. Cobra Enterprises of Utah, they stood behind their product. They took care of me and I am satisfied. I am very satisfied. I called them this morning to thank them for doing a good job for me. And I believe that everybody, if you're treated well and, and people do their job for you and do it politely and friendly and all that kind of stuff, show your appreciation. You know, everybody takes the time to call and bitch and raise hell. But how often does someone call just to say thank you? Well, I did, and they appreciate it. Oh, you made my whole day. So, uh, whatever. <laughs> anyway, folks, y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye, everybody.